You have come to cicatrice in a time of great danger, traveler friend. Toxic fumes permeate the air, and corpses walk among the ruins. It is best to turn away now before you share the fate of my dear companions. We were exploring the nearby oasis caverns when the fumes first began to spread. Only Najira and I were able to escape. The rest of my companions, weakened and disoriented by the poisoned air, ran farther into the caverns of the oasis. I would need to first create an antidote. However, I require samples from corpses that have absorbed the fumes. No easy task, given that something has awoken Cicatrice's dead. They now guard the ruins from any invaders. Thank you for the aid, traveler friend. The undead walk the ruins of Cicatrice, directly to the west. I would advise caution. <sighs> so much trouble for my egg mother's research notes. I now wonder if traveling to this town was the right decision. When we entered the caverns of the oasis, all seemed quiet. Then, suddenly, fumes began to surround us. The corpses which littered the ground sprang to life and attacked. Najira and I were the only ones able to escape. The fumes must have disoriented them, for they ran farther into the caverns. By the time we found the entrance, Najira could barely walk. Even I, blessed as I am with Argonian blood, began to feel weak. These fumes are most dangerous. Argonians have a far higher tolerance to poison than other races. Due to the nature of our homeland, that is why I was able to escape. But even so, it would be foolish to return to the oasis without first preparing. Precisely. An antidote will both allow us to enter the oasis safely and heal my companions of their weakness so that they may escape. That is why we must work quickly, traveler friend. Hmm. Once, the town of Cicatrice was a cool blessing within the scalding desert. The oasis beneath the town was clear, and many believed it had power to heal their ailments. The town prospered from these many visitors and the trade they bought. When the Nahatan flu came to elsewhere, many hoped that the oasis would heal them. They traveled here seeking hope, but brought their ailment with them. The town was quickly overcome with this sickness. Many died. They could not. The reigning monarchs quarantined infected towns in order to stop the disease from spreading. Cicatrice was eventually burned to the ground. And so, its people fled to the oasis. Their fate, however, is still unknown to me. When the Nahatan flu devastated Cicatrice, its people fled into the safety of the nearby oasis. They hoped that its healing waters could cure them of the disease. This effort was led by Nakusha, my egg mother. Yes, it is by her letters that I know of Cicatrice's suffering. She was a talented alchemist and hoped to develop a cure for the flu. However, this was many years ago. I do not believe she was successful. I hope to find my mother's research and share her findings. It's very likely she died here, trying to help those who had been so cruelly abandoned. Her great deeds should be shared with all of elsewhere. to once more travel the warm sands of elsewhere. My last trip took me to Skyrim. Miserable weather, it's no wonder the Nords drink so much. said she would make a cure. Please, we need a cure. It's just that ash. 
She swears it's just a rash. Nachira will go alone. She will not sit idle while her friends suffer. Please, don't be foolish. Najira, wait. I am glad to see you unharmed. Were you able to gather the samples? She fears for our companion's safety. I urged her to wait, for without an antidote she will quickly succumb to the fumes as well. But Najira refused to listen. I must begin my research. However, I still require a blossom of Arke's Lash. A cactus with a bright pink flower. It has great medicinal properties. Would you collect a blossom for me? The cactus can be found west of here, in a small glade atop a crag. In the meantime, I'll begin to study the samples you brought. Thank you once more for your aid, traveler friend. After I create an antidote, we can enter the Oasis Caverns and rescue my companions. Perhaps even find my egg mother's research notes as well. intrude upon my oasis! Leave this place! Now! antidote is nearly complete. All I need now is the Arke's Lash Blossom. Were you able to get one? A Nereid? Most peculiar. I wonder if she's somehow connected to the Oasis. Ah, but there is no time to speculate while my companions are still in danger. I must deliver this antidote to them. With luck, it will give them the strength to escape. Thank you, traveler friend. I feared to ask, but already you volunteer. Make sure to drink some of the antidote before entering the Oasis Caverns. And please, see if you can find my Egg Mother's research notes. My Egg Mother attempted to develop a cure for the Nahatan flu when it first struck a cicatrice. I am sure she kept meticulous notes about her progress. Such research will be vital to learning what happened here. Here you are, traveler friend. Let us hope this potion has the desired effect.
You must leave here now. The very air is poisonous. Iokas! I knew he would not abandon us. You must hurry. My companions ran deeper into the caves. Let them know that I'll remain here, ready to tend to them. I will be all right. The fumes have weakened me, but not as much as the others. A blessing of my Argonian blood. I just need to rest a moment more. The lizard said she would make a cure. Please, we need a cure. We hurt her, defiled her. Why did we defile her? Najira should have listened to Ayokas. Thank you for saving this foolish one, Walker. She should not have returned. Anyone there? Thank you, stranger. This one will find her way out.
They burned it all. Everything in flames. <laughs> Ogres make this. Ribanji must thank him.
elsewhere. It's not the fumes. I heard someone in the central chamber. It is all right, Laratan. I believe you. Thank you for saving my companions. Were you also able to find my Egg Mother's research notes? They would be invaluable to learning what occurred here. Thank the Hist. I was worried her research would be lost forever. Hmm. She writes of a Nerihead who lives here. And... And how her research tainted the Oasis. I see. This must be the root of all the despair we have encountered. The Nereid once made this oasis a place of healing, but by filling these caverns with sickness and death, it drastically changed her. She must be the one who created these fumes and raised these corpses. I'm afraid that the Nereid must be killed. She poses a threat to all who visit Cicatrice, and by raising the dead she has defiled many. Her death, hissed willing, will also allow this oasis to finally begin to heal. With your help, my Egg Mother's terrible mistake can finally be mended. Thank you, Traveler Friend. For now, I'll lead my companions back to camp. Nereids are inherently linked to the body of water they inhabit. The plague victims stayed within these caverns for weeks. Slowly, they tainted the purity of the oasis. What was once a place of healing became a place of sickness and death. Precisely. As the clear waters of this oasis grew polluted, so too did her spirit. Once, the Nereid healed those who came to her. Now she seeks to infect and kill. She embodies the very plague which tainted her. I'm afraid it will still take many years to fully heal the oasis. But killing the Nereid will begin that process. Without her to create the fumes and raise corpses, the Oasis has a chance to finally be cleansed. It's just a rush. She swears it's just a my heart good to see you unharmed. I trust the Nereid suffers no longer? In a way, I did learn what happened here. My Egg Mother sought to create a cure for the plague. Instead, she corrupted the Oasis with sickness and death. Everyone in Cicatrice died as a result of that corruption. But I did not journey to Cicatrice to seek her good intentions. There has been much animosity between the Khajiit and Argonian races because of the Nahatan flu. My people are immune to the disease, so many believe we created it. Through her research and sacrifice, I had hoped to bridge the gap between our people. 
prove that Argonians are not the cold-blooded monsters so many see us as. But sharing what happened at Cicatrice may only strengthen the Khajiit's hatred. I do not know. I must reflect on this. Still, I thank you for all that you've done. You saved my companions, found my Egg Mother's research, and helped the Oasis begin to heal. No small feats to accomplish, Traveler Friend. May your path be easy and your footsteps sure. The foul wind of our misfortune has turned into a gentle breeze. My companions are recovering well. I will monitor them closely for the next few days and see how they progress. For now, they merely need to rest. I suspect both the fumes and the undead will linger for quite some time. Have no worries, though. I will make sure that its dangers are known to elsewhere. Hopefully, an effort can one day be made to cleanse it completely. The Khajiit look up to their skies and see dragons soaring overhead. They look across their fields and see bloody battles raging. They have not the time nor resources to cleanse this oasis. Not now. The Nereid was the source of the corruption. It was her power that created toxic fumes and raised the undead. Kept alive, she would continue to do so. Now the oasis can begin to heal. It may take decades, centuries even, but it will heal. How are our companions, Laratan? All is well, Egg Brother. Your antidote has helped them immensely. That's good to hear. Ayokas, were you able to find your mother's research notes? I... yes. Our traveler friend was able to collect them. And what did they say? What happened to Cicatrice? Let us speak of that after you've recovered. For now, you need to rest. 